Hello and welcome to the pit part two, where we're gonna fight the demolisher. Stand him up. Oh shit. Dark. You come to us like a snake in the grass. Here, in a city of lies, you are the biggest liar of them all. What are you talking about? Answer me, motherfucker! Yes, lose control. That is what you Americans are so good at, after all. If I... Not bad. Clear out the corpses. Leave, Craig. Yes, sir. So here we go, I just picked up everything I saw. The zombies are still in those containers, don't do anything yet. So I pick up firecrackers, pipes, throwing knives, everything I can see. So the main task here, the main killing tactics, is to lure those zombies into the spikes that are attached on the containers, also on the fire barrels in the arena, this one. So they have to go out or get out of the containers first. And the best thing to do that is use firecrackers first, you have plenty of time to run around and pick up everything that is obvious and pick up weapons because you're gonna need the materials to repair your main weapon later yeah that is how that's how you have to do it just yeah just hit them so they get spiked yeah if they don't go in by themselves just do it yourself Results! Pick up the money on the way. It's interesting, they still have money. But you can't pick up the throwing knives you throw, you're throwing at them. That's the most annoying bit, I'm sorry. Still looting. Firecrackers. Plenty of things lying around in here. I guess those are all from the predecessors. The ones that failed in the arena. Oh, I guess I have enough hammers now. An interesting bit is also that the zombies are always going back into the containers, which is a bit weird. Is that a natural behaviour of a zombie? I thought it was hunting living meat. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's a, it's a bug of some sort, a glitch. Now they're coming. What is in the container that lets them go back again? I don't know. Maybe you know. Let me know. <laughs> so here we go. Using one of those. Those are really, really fun. <coughs> Crack 
cracker. Throwing the crackers. Puncture it. With a knife. And off it blows. Oh, I failure. Bang! <laughs> Morbid. <laughs> okay. The music is really good. All through the game, I really enjoy the music. It's a whole variety of styles. Nice to smack you. <laughs> so now they get now they're starting to be aggressive. Look at that. They're transforming into a hunter. They're stronger. Here I realized that I have to run around to kill them. Just let them run into the spikes, wear them off, and then they hopefully would die all by themselves. Is that one waving at me? You see that? He's waving. Hello! Kill me! Yeah, but I don't have throwing knives. <laughs> Oh, look, they're all transforming now. Oh, great. Now they're hunting me, look. <sighs> oh, now you need to do the spikes. Not what they're doing here. Do the spikes. Do the spikes! Yeah, just run away. Ah. Trying to play hero doesn't work. Sometimes a hero has to run as well. It's interesting I'm not getting spiked. Probably because he can avoid them. It's really scary when they hunt you like that. Spike them! Down, more to go. Change of weapon soon. Oh, it's transforming it. Why are they transforming? Can somebody tell me that? Somebody explain to me the concept of transformation, normal zombie to aggressive hunting zombie. Is it the time? Ugh, no, it can't be, otherwise all the zombies will transfer, transfer in the night. But, uh, why are they all aggressive now? They were so calm and peaceful. Just don't get it. Slowly but surely they are killed.
only a couple left. The container there. Go, go, go! Just picking up peacefully the money of the dead. Rice, Rice, he's not doing anything. Why is everyone cheering for Rice? I'm doing the work here. your first feeble attempt at controlling your own destiny, Crane. Too little, too late, I fear. Impressive for a walking dead man. Nicely wrapped. My present. It's so heavy that it collapses. Meet the demolisher. Sturdy bastard. I'm sorry, I just had to say that. Oh, the trick with that one is you have to let him throw something. You have to let him come very close to container. And then he should just throw his stones and after he has thrown his stone, jump him, slash him and run away. That's how you will be able to defeat him. Of course I had to figure out that out first. Rapidly running around, doing nothing. And here I thought, hmm, he's stopping and throwing stones and rocks at me. That's interesting. Yeah. I figured it out. Yeah. So jump him. Pack. And run away. Other direction. So he can't get you. And that's how you do it all the time.
slowly but surely going down. And now the zombies are coming back to hunt me again. I have no clue where they came, where they, where they came from. But um, there's plenty of time to just sh smack them with that nice blade. Works better than with the hammers, especially when you aim at the head. to repair it. That's why you need the other weapons for. You can salvage it, dismantle it and then you can use the parts to repair your main weapon. Quickly spend that skill point on better stamina. No, the other one. Yeah, sturdiness too. Don't think it'll help now, but it'll help later. So I'm stronger. Take more damage. Charging at me, ramming me. Bang! I didn't see that coming. Ah, oh, you are dead. I nearly got him. But at least have my full health, full health again. Fully restored. Now I have 150 just because of that upgrade earlier. Instead of 125. Yeah, going down again. <laughs> didn't help a lot. But the Demolisher has more stamina now as well, just because I died. It's really, really annoying.
you're going to die. I'm gonna slice you one less time for Brecky. but that's pretty easy peasy fighting. I normally don't do that. I try to avoid. It's really nice Ra Rice gave me that blade. Well. You have provided some quality entertainment for my men. Too bad it's a one-time performance. This will only prolong the inevitable. But try to make the best of it, huh? Let no one say I never gave you anything, Crane. Is a surprise, Grant. The GRE selects its operatives well. <sighs> Shit. Lower the platform. Sam, can you hear me? Loud and clear. Publish the fire. Right away, sir. And there. Easy is there. You just doomed thousands of innocent people. That's what you get with your fucking chaos. You don't know what was on that flight, do you, Craig? You want to prove my point for me. The GRE plans to weaponize the virus, not cure it. They're only interested in profit. Not saving lives. And by following their rules, you have become their trained monkey. Pathetic. All right. Kill him. <laughs> Revenge. Wow, that's what you deserve, you bastard. Left hand. Doc, come on, let's get you out of here. Green, save these people. They don't deserve all of this. You, give me that torch. <laughs> Green! What are you swine waiting for? Shoot him! I'm sorry, Doc. I'm going to kick your ass. So I should have run through the pipes. Well, it's so obvious. <laughs> of course, I didn't see it. They protect you from the bullets, of course. I didn't know where to go. 
running through the pipes would be a better solution because then you're really coming to a nice angle on that platform and then you can run on it very fast. Like that, it's just crap. I would do it differently, of course. Of course, I'm not picking the pipes. <laughs> uh, med pack. Fuck. Exactly. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Dead. Ah. Oh. I'm on 150 health again. So, I guess I keep running. Oops. Hello. Run, run, run. Now I tried to take the tunnels. Now you figured it out. <laughs> Safety finally. That's the area where they kept Siri earlier. Where I was shooting around in part one. Really enjoyed that. Should do that more often. Don't really have a lot of opportunity with the zombies around. It's too loud. Wonder if they have any silences around. That would be nice. seen one yet. Oh, the other way. I found a way out of the arena. Now I gotta haul ass back to Brecken. But Zara, he didn't make it. He said he gave his research to Jade before Rice grabbed him, so there might still be a shred of hope for a cure. slowly I mean the whole game I was running and now I feel like I'm a snail uh, there's no zombies around here I guess that's planned that's part of the story so I can have my sieges otherwise I would be dead already so I'm heading for that orange dot hopefully safety Still no zombie. Well, there, I think there was one. Uh, there are plenty here. Not so many. Easy to avoid. I guess I could fight them as well. Again. 
it's hopefully not gonna turn on me now. Ugh, I don't wanna play a zombie necessarily. Maybe I'll try that out. That option to play as a zombie. Could be fun. to hide you at the pier. Half of Rice's men are after you. Whatever you've done, it's really put them on the warpath. I have to talk to Jade. Zara, he gave her his research. She took it to Camden. Well, she tried to. Camden radioed that Rice's thugs had found his lab. So he flooded it with biters and barricaded himself in the middle. Now he's trapped. Then the connection failed. We haven't been able to raise him since. I'm going after her. How was she getting in? That part of town is sealed off. There's a group called the Saviors that smuggles people through. They have a den at Nico's bar in the cauldron near the highway. The contact's name is Jenk. Do, do you have enough runners to cover airdrops? The airdrops stopped 36 hours ago. There won't be any more. We're out of time, Crane. Shit. All right. I don't know if I can fix this, but I'm sure it's all gonna try. You know, most men in your situation will crawl into a hole and hide. Hats off to you, mate, and good luck. So that was it. Hey, Crane. The pit. Here's your gear. Best regards Have from a good Kareem. One. <laughs> Kareem. Bye bye. Huh? Well, if you see him, thank him for me. 